Right, we're going to learn another piece of music now. It's called Sweet Melody. And if we go through the chords one by one, we can see they're all very simple chords, all open chords again, just like the mini lament. Starts off on a C, then a D, then a G, and then an F chord. Now with F chord, we'll play the bar chord of F, of course. Then a C, D, G, F again. And then we've got A minor, and then we come to a new chord, which is G slash B. What that stands for is a G chord with a B bass, or G6 slash B. So what we're going to learn is to learn how to play it. So let's just have a look. The second finger goes onto the second fret of the fifth string, and the fourth finger goes onto the third fret of the second string. And the thumb comes over the top and muffles out the sixth, and that's G6 with the B bass. Nice sounding chord there, very rich sounding chord. Make sure you get the right fingers there. The temptation to play it with first finger and third finger is always there. But we're going to play it with second finger and fourth finger to keep us in position so we don't have to pull our fingers all the way from over here up to there. So just second and fourth are already there, which makes it quite hard. Anyway, let's carry on now. Now the song Sweet Melody, as we can see, it's made up of 20 odd bars. But what we want to do is we actually want to put that into a music format because we can now read music and understand it. So let's put it into music. So, on your screen now, you can now see the, the song Sweet Melody written out in a music format. As you can see, it looks very pretty, and this is what I wanted to explain to you about music, that music on the page is actually a little bit of an art form as such. You can see how in the middle there of the song, it starts to get quite uh, busy down there. You've got a lot of notes in there, and this is what I want to talk about is contrast. So at the top there, if we look at the timing, it goes one, two, three. Four, and then as of the third line, it starts going 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So let's have a look. We can see the contrast on the page, and we can start to understand how the song's going to go. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, for 8 bars, and then it's going to suddenly go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, and do that for another 12 bars, and then it'll come back for another 4 bars of 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's called an ABA structure where it has the, the first A structured 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the B changes the structure and goes to 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, and then it comes back to A again to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's just think about that one more time. Let's do three bars now, pretending we're doing the structure of the song. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's how music on the page looks to us. So let's put it into tab now so we can understand it. We'll put the chords up the top and other than that the music stays the same. So here we have it now. Now we have it all explained to us. The first chord is a C chord. We can see it's going to be finger picked or if we can't I'm telling you it's going to be finger picked now with the appropriate bass notes of course. And on the first chord of C it's just going to pluck the bass. One, two, three, four. Then we go to a D chord. Do the same thing again. One, two, G chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then on F chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's our first line. Second line, C chord is the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, D chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, G chord, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now on the F chord, we can see the first two beats are made up of quarter notes, 1, 2, the second two beats are made up of eighth notes, which is three and four and. So let's try that again. One, two, three and four and. See how that goes there? Let's carry on now. Now the, the next bar, the ninth bar, is an A minor chord, and it's got eighth notes in there. If you have a careful look at it and compare it to our finger picking patterns, you'll see that the tablature explains to us that it's finger picking pattern number three. So let's just do one bar of that. We're up to the G6 with a B bass, and the same finger picking pattern again with the second, second, uh, sorry, the fifth string as the bass note. And then two bars of C with finger picking pattern number three. Then another bar of A minor. Another bar of G with G6 with a B bass. Two bars of C. to a G chord and still carries on with finger picking pattern number three. Then it goes to an F chord still with finger picking pattern number three. And then an E minor chord two bars in a row of E minor with finger picking pattern number three. And then we're back
back to the C chord again, and we've switched back to quarter notes here. So it's one, two, three, four, D chord, and then two bars of C. It's a lovely little piece of music, and if you can start to understand the idea of contrast, that's what you might want to be using in your own songs or your own writing. Contrast is great. You get contrast in there, and suddenly you've got your listeners really listening to you. So I'll play the song for you all the way through now, and you can have a good listen and really see how the contrast lifts up the song in the middle, and then at the end when we drop back to quarter notes, it just drops it back down again. We effectively double-timed it in the middle and then half-timed it at the end. Anyway, one, two, three, four. piece of music and you can see how the use of contrast by contrasting the quarter notes with the eighth notes really pulls that piece up from the norm and makes it into something that sounds quite nice.